What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, it's hump day. We're getting over the hump, and of course, we have the Dallas Cowboys taking on the Detroit Lions, the division-winning Detroit Lions on Saturday. It's a short week, and the Cowboys, of course, are knee-deep in practice. Uh, tomorrow will be the recovery day. Um, Friday will be the uh, walkthrough day, and, of course, Saturday will be the game. I can't wait. Uh, I can't wait to see Jimmy Johnson inducted into the Dallas Cowboys' ring of honor. Now, we've had a lot made from Micah, Micah has talked a lot about how he's not getting calls, where he's literally being told by the officials, well, you couldn't have gotten to the place, so I'm not going to call the penalty, which is kind of bullshit because how many times have we seen illegal contact on the other side and the ball goes the other way? How many times have we seen the running back 15 yards down the field and they're calling a holding penalty for a guy who wouldn't have made a difference. So I don't want to hear this. Well, Micah, you know, you couldn't have gotten to the play. How do you know? How does your old ass know? So Micah was asked. So this is a, a quote from John Mashota, who quoted my, uh, uh, Micah Parsons. Micah, when asked if the referees can account for a speed when assessing potential offensive holding penalties, to be honest, and in the most humble way ever, I don't know if he's gotten, you know, people have said you need to slow your roll on throwing them under the bus. We know that shit's bad, but you got to slow your roll or it's going to get even worse. I don't think there's a rusher with a win. Of, excuse me. I don't think there's a rusher that wins as quick as I do. There's not another rusher that does the things that I do. That's on tape. They put me on the same pedestal as other rushers, and we're not all the same. I don't think they realize that I'm a 4-3 coming off the edge versus dudes that might be 4-5, 4-6, whatever. I don't think the referees understand that I'm a good player, uh, but they don't understand the actual plays that can actually make my speed what I can control. Um, the speed, here's the problem with this. The fact that the officials are saying to him, well, you couldn't have gotten to the place, so I'm not going to call a flag. It doesn't matter. A penalty is a penalty. So you're saying that if it was right in front of the, the, the quarterback and he's about to get to him and he gets held, then he should get a call? Because you're not calling those either. You're not calling those either. Because we have literally seen people holding him around the neck. We've literally seen him run over Lane Johnson with the guy pulling him from behind. And doesn't get it. This is freaking ridiculous. Unfortunately, Micah Parsons speaking up about it, I don't think is actually helping the situation any at all. I think, in fact, I think it's actually making it even worse. Also, in other news that's kind of crazy, um, wow. You know, you could tell when Sean Payton came to the Denver Broncos, he never really liked Russell Wilson. You could tell. You could tell by the way he ended up talking to Russell Wilson and immediately, you know, uh, Russell Wilson, although Russell Wilson was a bit of a diva, you know, he had an office on the floor with the coaches and everything else and stuff. He had his own, you know, staff of people that would come through to help take care of him and everything else. And Sean Payton got rid of all that. He kind of sent a message to him flat out and basically said, I'm the one in charge, not you. Well, Russell Wilson of course, you know, did what he was told. And of course, the season started out looking like ass. Miami beat him 70 to 20. And then something miraculous happened. They started turning things around. Now, they did lose this past week, which really hurt their playoff chances, but they are not out of it. But here's the thing. They have benched Russell Wilson for the rest of the season. The reason being is... If he is still on the roster, um, excuse me, let me rephrase this. Let me get this, make sure I get this right. If he gets injured and the injury lasts longer than beginning of March, 
then his contract becomes fully guaranteed. So what this says is we're not looking to guarantee your contract. They're going to be looking to move Russell Wilson. So people, if you want to trade for Russell Wilson, there's a quarterback out there for you. Sean Payton, he ain't playing. He he wants to he wants to get his guy, whoever that may be in the draft or whatever. So he'll be looking for draft compensation. Um, we know that Denver gave up a king's ransom to get him. I don't know after the last two years what the compensation will be, but I don't know that it's going to be two number ones again. I just don't. I could be wrong. I could be 100% wrong, but I don't think it's going to be two number ones. Um, looking at, I'm just curious, I want to look at his numbers, because he wasn't, Russell Wilson wasn't that bad. This year, although he's not, wasn't quite as dynamic. I mean, his, he's got a 98 passer rating, 3,000 yards, 26 TDs, and only eight interceptions. It's not the worst numbers in the world. And there are teams that could definitely use him as an upgrade over what they got, like, say, Washington. I mean, you could look at a lot of teams like the Jets. Uh, you could look at Carolina. I mean, there's so many. The, the Giants. There's so many teams that could use his services. And when you start thinking about some of the guys that keep getting jobs over and over again, there may be a market for him. So, you know, I'm betting at least a number one and maybe some other compensation you can get him. I'm sure that people will start saying trade Dak and get Russell Wilson. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Got up at 430 this morning. Um, I would say uh, we know that people would be saying uh, trade uh, Dak and get Russell Wilson. So there you have it. All right. So um, that's where we are. That's the latest news with the Cowboys, Tyron Smith and uh, Hankins. It is possible. Um, it is possible that they return this weekend, um, but definitely are trending in the right direction. And um, hopefully we will see them back sooner than later. And as always, you know how we roll. I appreciate you guys. And um, Eagle fans, you know how we roll. Fuck them birds. Fly, Eagles, fly. Now nah, we shoot those birds out of the sky. Stupid dumbasses managed to give up a third and 30 to my sexy arm. Pathetic defense and team. No wonder I own those piece of shit frauds every damn year. Don't get me started on the fans. You boo me while I earned a respected award. Losing the Super Bowl was just karma for you fuckheads. I can't wait to drop 100 on your heads next season while being the daddy of the NFC East again.